Welcome to part two of our tutorial on toggle buttons. This time we're going to make it a little bit more difficult and we're going to swap back and forth between two different images. So over on screen one, I want everything to be in the middle of the screen. I'm going to change align horizontal and align vertical to center. This means now that my button goes straight into the middle of the screen. And what we want to do is toggle back and forth between these two images here, checked uh, and unchecked.png. So what's happening here is I have a white image on a white background and we can't see it. So you can choose any color, any background color you like for your screen. Now that we can see it, it doesn't really look the best. Um, so we're going to get rid of that text. That's the first thing to do. Uh, and it's still just that little bit squashed. So if you want to have a square, you need to make sure that the height and the width are the exact same. In this particular case, I'm going to set the height to be 100 pixels and we'll go for 100 pixels with the width as well. That'll make it square. And now it looks a little bit better. I can demonstrate what we're going to try and do in our code. So we can show the checked.png image and then we can go and demonstrate or we can display the unchecked.png image. If you want to upload your own files, I've downloaded mine from material.io. So here's a play icon and a pause icon. And we can look at the same thing as well. Let's just toggle back and forth and see what we're going to try and code up now in a second. So in our blocks, first thing we're going to do, if you've uh, followed or completed the toggle button tutorial one, is create some variable to store one of these Boolean values or logic values. Uh, we'll set the playing uh, variable to be false. And then when the button is clicked, that's when we're going to toggle back and forth. So make the variable true and false. And we're also going to change the uh, image property as well. So let's imagine then, for instance, that uh, the play button is pressed. We, we're going to change it to the pause.png. And uh, as well, we've seen this in previous tutorials, is let's give the user some kind of um, verbal feedback as well. So we can change the title of screen one to tell the user um, click that button again uh, to, or click the button to, to pause the music. So um, whatever kind of message you want them to see, let's tell them that the music is playing and we'll show them the pause button. This will only work for one click. So the whole idea of having a, a variable or a little switch like this is that we can toggle back and forth. So what we're going to do is check whether or not the music is playing, whether or not the playing icon is, is showing on the screen. Um, and then if it's not, then we can add in this else condition using our else mutator. Uh, so if it's not playing like this, we can don't forget then to toggle back and forth with your with your variables. Uh, if it's false, set it to true. And if it's true, you have to set it to false as well. So once we have um, half of it done, it's quite easy then to duplicate uh, and just change things over, just to swap things around. So uh, if it's true, set it to false. Um, change the, the title message there to press play to resume playing, resume the music, uh, and then don't forget the most important thing for this bit of the tutorial anyway, is to change the image. Instead of being pause.png, we'll change it to play.png. Uh, so that's it, there are the blocks. You can pause the video here if you want to implement your own um, toggle button like this. And this is what it looks like in action now. So uh, every time the button is clicked, the title changes, and most importantly, that image changes. So let's have a look at that checkbox example that we started earlier, or we looked at earlier. Um, just to illustrate that your variable names can be anything you want, I've changed it from playing to checked. Uh, we don't have to have the um, title, of course, uh, changing. So what we're going to do here is if it's uh, checked, set checked to be false, and then uh, change the image to be unchecked.png. The opposite side of things then will change that to be checked, .png, and this will show the other picture then as the button is pressed repeatedly. So this is what it looks like then on our phone, unchecked, and then checked, and we can toggle back and forth. And any pair of images like this will work um, in your app. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, thumbs up if you uh, learned something from it. Don't forget to subscribe to get uh, notifications and updates of future videos.